It was the end of September, 1916, World War I. In the mountains of East Africa, German Colonel Paul von Leto Vorbeck was about to be surrounded. In front of him were nearly a thousand British forces. Behind him, a thicket of death traps, the African wilderness. For years, von Leto and his German troops had been playing a game of cat and mouse against the British over hundreds of miles of harsh African terrain, a game von Leto had always won. But the tables had finally turned. And with von Leto nearly trapped, the British gave him a choice, surrender or die. He chose neither. Instead, von Leto melted into the tangled forest behind him and in the blink of an eye was gone. Here is a man who fights the war continuously, right from the very beginning in 1914, right to the end in 1918. He tweaks the lion's tail. The British aren't able to deal with him. He goes all over East Africa uh, with people following him uh, and never quite catching him. Von Leto is cut from the cloth of the traditional military hero. Uh, he could be one of these great figures out of your childhood storybooks, riding through the bush at the head of his ragged band of dedicated troops, fighting off a vastly superior foe, but always doing it with a, you know, a gleam in his eye and a chivalrous attitude. He was one of the last great romantic figures in the history of war. 